for music? Bring it.
ask few questions to Mami Vate. Oh my God. If a question I'm is so on you, how, how do you find Manipur? Yeah, you know, this is actually my first time coming. I've been coming here very often. Yeah. People are nice. So the place is so beautiful. And every time I come here, I always have fun. So I think that's the most important thing. Would you like to come again? I would love to. Yeah, I'll come again every day. Like if you ask me to come, then I'll come. I'm there. I'm there. Thank you so much. Will you please chant Lily Lily for our gooters? Lily Lily! One more time from Mommy. Lily Lily Lily! Thank you so much. Thank you, Mommy. You've been wonderful. I'd like to call on stage the Miss Good winner of 1985, Rose Lalthang Nam, on stage. Also accompanying her is the winner of 1987 Miss Good Contest, Juliana Dongel. She is also the wife of a uh, respected poor Christopher Dongel, IPS, IGP. Also accompanying them on stage is Miss Vasi Kipgen, Miss Good title winner of 1999, Kangpopi. Ladies and gentlemen, Ekipapi Naun Bon Savin. In 1985 at Chura Chanpu. And Madam Juliana, where did you win the Miss Good title? I won the title in 1987 at Cookie Inn. Cookie Inn. And to Vasi, where did you win the Miss Good title? Kangupi 1999. Thank you so much. Good committee would like to give them a presentation. P. Vasi Kipgen, winner of Miss Good title 1999, Kangupi. Kipapi nan khud haben bengute. Also to P. Juliana Dongel, the Miss Good winner of 1987 at Koke in Imphal. And last to P. Rose Lal the Miss Good winner of 1985 at Churachanpur. Thank you very much, sir. Now we will call on stage Mr. Haunau to give us a special number.
Contestant number four, things in Ake again. She is the first of our top ten finalists, things in Ake again. Give it up for her. Only nine places to go, and one of them belongs to. Any guesses? Contestant number five, Kalpana Chanu. Our next 10 finalists is Kalpanas Janu, contestant number 5. Contestant number seven, Chakram Purnima. We've also got a place in this competition for contestant number nine, Adhikari Mayum Kherada Devi, ladies and gentlemen. Our third finalist, Chuck from Purnima. We've also got a place in this competition for Adhikari Mayam Keroda Devi, contestant number nine. Next up, we have contestant number, any guesses? You're right, contestant number 12, Kim Jong Hoi Kip Gen. Cheer up, cheer up! Contestant number 12, Kim Jong Hoi Kip Gen. Beautiful. Beautiful indeed. 
Ahoj. Five down, five to go. The next five belongs to... Ladies and gentlemen, the sixth finalist is contestant number 13, Serto Rekipkom. Serto Rekipkom, representing the Com community. Contestant number 14 is a seven finalist.
Serena Narim. Let us give it up for her, ladies and gentlemen. These are our judges' top ten finalists. Congratulations to the top ten finalists. I hope you go ahead. Congratulations to the top 10 finalists. In the midst of these 10 best looking women is hidden the next Miss Good 2030. If you have any favorites, hold on to it. Who knows, your choice might just win a competition. Come on. Stay with us. We'll be right back when these top 10 finalists will hit the ramp to get closer to the crown. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we will ask them a common question. You'll be given three minutes to write your answer. And beneath, your answer, you please write your name along with your contestant number. This is the question. Give a message to attract tourists in Manipur. I repeat the question. Give a message to attract the tourists in Manipur. And your time starts now. The environment and the moment right now is so tense, Ma. It's very tense. That's right. Who will go ahead and who will stay behind? Give a message to attract tourists in Manipur. You have one and a half minutes remaining. 90 seconds. Last 45 seconds. Please write your name and your contestant number. Last 15 seconds. Five seconds. Please stop. Please stop. We will be reading out the answers of all of them. I will start with serial number nine, Adhikari Mayum Keroda Devi. Her answer goes like this Manipur is a state of different culture and identity. And in Manipur, we can get to see the rare animal. Sangai. We should try to improve our culture and tradition, and we should make places like Kebul Lamzao, which is the only place of Sangai, so that it can be a good place for the tourists. 
Not only that, we should make other tourist spots and keep the tradition of our culture and show them to the world. Contestant number 13, Sertha Rekibkom, has answered as this. A message that I would like to give to Manipur is that, firstly, thanks to every audience, that those who are coming here and make the festival more successful, and I would also like to give a message to all the parents and every one of us that let us, uh, let, that let us and our daughters to participate in these kind of contests so that our festival will be more successful and to make them to become a Miss Good 2013 in life. Thank you. Contestant number seven, Chakpram Purnima. Her answer goes like this. Being a woman of Manipur, I want to show our love, care, and sharing to attract more people. As a woman, we have the quality to create and nurture this wonderful creation. As the origin of the true beauty is our land, which shows our Manipur a beautiful tourist spot. Thank you. Contestant number 14, Grayston, has answered as this. Manipur. Zako Valley is an attractive valley in Manipur. I will help the leaders of our society to remove total illiteracy to educate women is a role of society development. Thank you. And this is the answer of contestant number 12, Kim Tling Hoi Kip Gan. There are things that can be done to attract the tourists in Manipur. The Loktag Lake, the Kangla Fort are some of the places which are well known in Manipur. These places can be enhanced and made more beautiful. Manipur is a, also known as a jewel land and also a very beautiful place. So there are many things which we can do, such as improving the condition of Loktak Lake and Kangla Fort. Thank you. Contestant number 18, Sharina Naram, has answered as this. The messages that I would like to give are as follows. Let's live together, struggle together, work together, hand in hand, and make a unity. Unity is best to develop our society. So this festival also brings light, peace, harmony, prosperity, and unity. So that's my message to all of you. Thank you. Serial number four, things in Aikip again. We have many beautiful things to be seen in Manipur, like the Sangai, orchids, Siroi Lili, etc. We also have different festivals. I would like to tell about Kud, that is a post-harvest festival of the Chin Kuki Mizo groups. It is a festival of peace and unity. When it comes to Kud, we forget our differences and come together as one to celebrate. This is the uniqueness of Kud. Long live Kud. Contestant number 16, Somi Balatakhelambam has written as this. I give a message to tribe and tourists. It's, let's live with unity peace and integrity. My message is, let's live with unity, peace and integrity once again. Thank you. Contestant number five, Kalpana Salam. Manipur is a beautiful state in the field of sport and politics, science and arts also. We have Loktag Lake, Siroi Lili, and have to generate promotion of the tourism. I would like to encourage the promotion of tourism so that Manipur is known all over the states. And if we have promotion, more tourism in Manipur, we will succeed greatly. This comes from contestant number 19, Benji Oinam. Benji has written, Manipur is a beautiful state with varieties of tribes, different cultures and creed. Every caste in Manipur cooperate with each other and live together happily. So, I give a message to the people of, uh, to people of uh, India to come visit Manipur, which is filled with varieties of caste, creed, and culture. Thank you. Thank you very much, top 10 finalists. You have answered wonderfully. Thank you so much. You may please take the back seat.
63 candidates came for the screening one month ago. Out of these 63, 21 top contestants were chosen to represent the May School pageant 2013. Out of these 21, the top 10 finalists remain. Now out of these top 10 finalists, we will soon announce the judges' top five. Now in random order, once again, here are the judges' top five finalists. Ladies and gentlemen, are we ready? Are we ready? Now in random order, once again, here are the judges' top five finalists. The first spot in our top five goes to contestant number four, Things in Akip Gan. Thank you, things in A. All right. She's our first five finalists, ladies and gentlemen. Our first finalists. 
is contestant number four. Now he's going wild, hoy. Absolutely, I agree with you. Thank you. Only four places to go, and one of them belongs to contestant number twelve. Climbing hoy, keep get. Beautiful as ever, contestant number 12 that was. Almost halfway there. The third spot. Is for the woman name. Salam Kalpana Chano, contestant number five. Our next finalist is contestant number seven, Chuck from Purnima. Contestants buy for it, but the judges have reserved it for me special. Contestant number 18, Starina Nare. Changing title of Miss Good 2013. Congratulations, all top five finalists. They will face a question each from the judges. They will pick a question number, which is to be asked by one of the judges, and this will be handed over by the choreographer himself. First, we start with Sharina Naurem. Sharina Naurem has picked judge number three. Please ask your question. Judge number three, Pooja Shuresh Babu, Principal Secretary, Government of Manipur. What do you think is required to become Miss Kut? What do you think is required to become Miss Kut? Thank you for the question to the judges. My answer is, in a Miss Kut, uh, firstly, I say I'm so happy for selecting me in a trophy, and the required are to be a beauty for beauty pageant. This is a beauty show, so to be a beauty uh, like a. Her beauty face, her beauty character, behavior, almost good. So that uh, uh, in that time, they have a beauty. Uh, this. Uh, what I say, <laughs> there are the requirements, so thank you. Thank you, Serena. Next, we will ask Chakram Purnima. Miss Purnima has picked up judge number two, Miss Mrs. Maman. Do you like children? If so, why? Thank you, sir. Yes, I like children because the origin of a children is a mother. 
as uh, the children get love, sharing, and caring from mother as to bring the children more intelligent, more perfect, more successful in her life to bring unity, peace, and harmony. Thank you. And Salam Kalpana Chanu has picked judge number three. Jay Shuresh Babu, please. Between a man and a woman, who is more important and why? For me, uh, for, my, uh, for my opinion, woman is very important because uh, woman is the beautiful creations of God and woman is the one who give birth for life and And in, the, and in the past, women are inferior to men, and, but it was theoretically high and it's practically low. And we should respect women and appreciate us what we are. Thank you, sir. Ms. Kim Singh, I expect judge number four. Pooja Loon Kim. The question to you is, if you were given a ticket a free ticket. Where would you go and why? I'll repeat the question. If you were if you were given a free ticket, where would you go and why? Thank you for the question, sir. Well, uh, if I am given a free ticket, I would go to well, if I'm given a free ticket, I would go to a gospel concert because uh, it is uh, true. Because I think that uh, first of all, we should, in whatever we, we, are, we may be doing, we should uh, thank God and Well, thank you. Contestant number four, things in a keep again. See us big.